Jessie and we're so happy Gringo and today we are visiting the Infinia Museum. Belgium. Okay, and you? Uh, okay, what do you say? Uh, Washington. Washington. Colorado. Colorado. Okay, so I suppose it's your first time in Ecuador, right? So welcome to this museum and welcome to my country. Okay, we're going to start your tour in this way. Come here, please. have a representation of Amazon basic in Ecuador. Almost 40% of Ecuador is Amazon region. Okay, here we have for example tapir, ocelot, jarwart, tucan, smokies, macos, parrots, eagles, and the famous pink dolphin in the north of the Amazon. If you visit Cuyavenus Park, Cuyavenus is a protected area in Ecuador. And if you visit, you can find this dolphin, okay? That is the real color. It's a dolphin in fresh water. For this reason, the minerals of the water produce this color in the dolphin, okay? And then here, we have two boas constrictors. A real that are dead are preserved for mold. The first one in front is three meters long, female. And another one behind, two meters long, male. But the biggest snake in the Amazon and in the world is the anaconda here. That the skin is real, is dry, and it's only six meters long. I say only because if you go to the Amazon, you can say anaconda is 12 meters long. That is the real size. I have a special tarantula. It's called Goliath. It's called Goliath because it's the biggest of the Amazon. Actually, that is a baby. The adult can be the size of the box. It's poisonous and the animals can eat moses and small birds too. On Ecuador, we are in the widest part of the planet. We are far from the center. For this reason, in that area around the world, the gravity is less. And at less gravity, what happens with our weight? It goes down. Lighter. Yeah. So actually, we have one kilo of difference between your weight on Equator or your weight in the poles of the planet. In the next part, I have a special activity for you, and I show you that your weight is less. But now, please enjoy your weight in my country, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> divided in three parts in Quechua. Quechua is the second official language in Ecuador. Tutamanta means morning, Pacta means noon, and Chisa means afternoon. Remember I told you we have 12 hours a day at 6 a.m. sunrise. The uh, first shadow is uh, born east. We have the first shadow here. The sun continues in this way, and at 6 p.m. we have the last one here in this part. Okay? Now, if you see the hour, the hour in that sun, it's very similar to the hour in our watches on our cell phone, but it's not exactly the same, which is the reason. How many hours we have in a complete day? Well, 24. 24. Are you sure? <laughs> because the 24 yes. hours is just the commercial time, but it's not the real time. The real time in every day is just 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4 seconds. For this reason, to complete the time, to complete the day, we have the leap day each four years. That is the reason because we need another day of February each four years. Complete the time with this day. Now, for the position of the equator with respect to the sun, we can see the hour only six months here in the north face, from March to September. From September to March, we can see the hour in another face of the sun. Six months in the north, six months in the south. 
and in the equinox days, March 21st and September 21st, the sun is exactly up here in the center. For this reason, we lose the shadow totally just in those days of the year. Okay? Now, please, my friends, here I suggest you the official picture in the middle of the world. If you give me your cameras, I take you your pictures one by one, couples, family, group, I don't know, okay? Please, please. Just in Ecuador, the equator is around the world in 13 countries. For example, in Africa, expressing in Gabon, Congo, Uganda, Kenya, Somalia, Indonesia, Brazil, Colombia, and of course here in Ecuador. So the question is, which is the reason it's considered right middle of the world here in my country? Because in Africa, it's low. Indonesia are islands. In Brazil and Colombia, it's Amazon. Just here on Equator, in Ecuador, we have the Equator and Cordillera de los Andes. For this reason, it's the hottest point in the world around the latitude zero zero. Now, please remember, the planet has two movements, the translation movement and the rotation movement. That is rotation. When we have this movement, we have forces that burn in the middle and that forces come to the pole. For this reason, in that series, we have hurricanes, typhoons, cyclones, tornadoes, and another phenomenon. But here on Equator, we don't have this problem because the force is just born here and come to the world. So you are safe here in Ecuador because we have just volcanoes and earthquakes, no more. <laughs> 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 With you, please tell me, my friends, look at Canada, please, okay? And with you, please, my friends, look at Argentina. If I move the planet, what's happening with Argentina and Canada? Things in clockwise or counterclockwise? What is happening with Argentina in this moment? No worries, thank you so much. I continue with the same movement, but what's happening with you in Canada? Opposite to the south, counterclockwise. Let me show you the movements here on the world. What happened here on equator? What do you think? Ideas? Please. It goes straight. Okay, let's go to see. Please come here. Okay, you can see up body. here, please. Okay? One, two, and three. Look at the lips, please. Spinning. No spinning here. The world holding is straight down on equator, right? right? But now I take my luggage and let's go with me to Argentina, please. Come here. Okay. <laughs> so, my friends, do you remember what happened in Argentina? It's went um, clockwise. Maybe you go please help me. Y'all ready? <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Thank you. So, see, see, look at the lead. Look at the leaf. Twelve white. Mm -hmm. The outer hemisphere, right? Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> now I put my I take my luggage again, and we're going to complete our tour in Canada. Please stand here. In just three seconds. So, my friends, if the water is spinning clockwise in the outer hemisphere, what happened here in the north? That's somebody bold here, maybe. I don't know. Volunteers, no. You? Thank you. <laughs> Wait, they're already moving now. <laughs> Don't give away the secret. Don't turn slow wide and then it arranges, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, my friends, remember, here we have just a recreation. You can see the real movements in the oceans and in the sea. Yeah. For this reason, maybe have you hidden the TV when the official institute said, for example, Tomorrow the Katrina's hurricanes um, will go to Miami or another city because the direction of the slums depend on the movement of the world and it's different depend on the energy. Actually, we have tornadoes and hurricanes in the north, cyclones and cyclones in the south are different depend on the energy. Okay? Now, please give me just a second. I put my luggage for the next group. <laughs> 
Okay, so here I have the egg challenge for you. If you do it, I have an special gift for you, okay? So, I have the fresh egg. It's not boiled, it's raw. And only point the magnetism is harder. For this reason, the whistle of the needle attracts the yolk of the egg. And it's possible balance the oh, yeah. on the neck. I believe you. One step in each hemisphere. South, north, balance your body, balance your weight. Support your hands here. Try to put the egg on the center of the nail. The straight, and then you go little bottle? by little. Oh, yeah. If you do it, if you do it, at the end of this year, I give you a diploma of egg master. Okay? <laughs> that is your special gift. Okay? It's easier to do it on Equator. But if you try to do it far from Equator, it's impossible or harder of this. Okay? So that is your moment, please. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. If you want more information about the Intinyang Museum, visit our website, link will be in the description.